What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we're gonna look at how easily and effectively we can use green screens in Premiere. So first and foremost, let's get into my sequence and see what I've got here. So I've got four clips over here. So the first one is a guy holding his phone. And then the second one is of an iMac kind of a machine. And then I have this person with the green backdrop. And then I have this guy who is working on a laptop and also has a green screen in front of him. Now, all of these are extremely easy and I'll show you that in a few seconds. So let's look at the first clip of this guy with his phone watching something. So I'm going to pick this clip that I want to show on his phone to replace it with a green screen. Now, I'm going to place this clip underneath our green screen clip. And now I'm going to go in my effects tab and we'll search for the ultra key effect. And it's there. So let's drag it and drop it on our green screen clip, which is the top one. I know it's been edited as I can see it in my effect controls tab but nothing has happened so far and that's because we haven't really selected the green screen yet to replace it with something else. So let's do that first and I'm going to go in my effect controls tab and in the ultra key effect I can see this dropper so I'm going to pick this up and we'll select the green screen in my clip because that is what I want to replace. Now as soon as you do that you will start seeing the underlying clip. Now, this guy is holding his phone in his hand and there is some movement too. So we will have to adjust the position of our underlying clip and we'll have to create some keyframes as well so that the clip does not go funny halfway through. So I'm going to select this bottom clip and we'll go in my motion effect. And first of all, I'm going to scale it out. So I think this looks fine. Yeah, and we'll now adjust the position as well. And yeah, I think this looks okay. Uh, yeah, it looks okay now. So this guys will be my first keyframe. Now let's move forward in the timeline so we can see at what point we need to adjust this. So okay. So at this point, I'm gonna create another keyframe and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave the scaling as it is, but I'm just going to adjust the position. So let me do that. So okay fine and guys that's what i will be doing for the next few frames so basically we will have to adjust the position every time he moves his phone so let's move forward again and okay we need to adjust the position once again over here so let's do that okay and here again okay and fine and again over here okay and again okay and again over here and yeah and again over here okay and then finally at this point now okay and uh, yeah that's it so let's play this and see how it looks okay i think that looks awesome and i mean you can see how easy that was all you have to do is i mean because we were kind of replacing the green screen on a smaller device so that is the reason why we have to kind of adjust or realign our clip now the next one i have is pretty similar to the previous one so i'm just going to go and place it on the track above and we'll place this clip that i want to show in the track below and now i'm going to go in my effect tab and we'll select the ultra key effect and now just drag and drop it on the top clip now i'm going to go in my effect control tab and under the ultra key effect i will use this eyedropper and we'll select this green screen and there you go but I'm not really sure if you guys can notice it, but the edges are not perfect. So we need to fix these first. Now, the first and the most important feature here is this output, which by default will be set at composite. If I change it to alpha, then I can see my subject over here in the white and then all of my green screen should be pitch black. And if there are any white spots on it, then we can use all the adjustments option over here. So in the ultra key effect, as I said before, we have different options to play with so let's check these and see if we can fix our edges so the first one we have here is this matte generation and this basically tells premiere that what should be removed from the clip so we have transparency over here and i don't think i'm going to be using this but it's just going to increase or decrease the transparency level in your clip as you can see now i don't need to do anything with the highlights or the shadows as you can see that there's nothing wrong with either of those things and we then have the tolerance which is going to do the edges as you can see and then we have pedestal which is what we need right now because it fixes the edges and as you can see that when i moved it higher my edges are much smoother now now the other ones over here matte cleanups spill suppression and color correction we are going to look at each of these in the next clip so let's play this one and see how it looks 
Okay, cool. So now the edges are much smoother and the clip look, looks absolutely perfect. So now in the third clip, I have this person who is not only moving her hands, but also changing her position. So let's see how we can work with this. Now I'm going to bring this clip that I want to surface as the new background under it and using the same ultra key effect, I'm going to remove the green screen first. So let me go in my effects tab and bring the ultra key effect and now on this top clip and now I'm going to select this green backdrop using the eyedropper and okay fine. So we've done that but it doesn't look perfect and it looks very artificial. So we have all these options within the ultra key effect that we are going to be looking at now to fix this and make this clip look much better. So in the last clip, we have already talked about the matte generation. So the only one that I'm going to be using from this is this pedestal and I'm going to increase it because I don't like the edges and this is fine. Okay. We then have this matte cleanup, which is all about how you can make, make your edges look better. So the first one is choke, which acts like a trimmer for your edges. So as you can see, when I'm increasing it, how it's sharpening out the edges. And we then have the soften, which is pretty self-explanatory as it's going to soften out your edges. And then we have the option of adjusting the contrast and midpoint of your edges, which in this case won't do much. Now the next one that we have is spill suppression, which is used when your green color looks like that it's being spilled. Now what I mean by that is that there will be times when you will replace your green screen, but there will be some green drops here and there on your screen and you can use these controls to suppress those. And then finally we have the ability to color correct. So I'm going to make some small corrections over here. So I'm going to bring the saturation down a bit. Okay, and also the luminous level. So I think it looks much better now. Now let's go to our alpha view and see if everything looks okay. And yes, it does. So let's play this clip and see what we've done. Okay, it looks so much better and so much real now. Now the last clip we have is of a guy who has a laptop and a green screen in front of him. Now, Obviously, we can't replace both these green screens with just one clip, so we will be using two different clips here. Now, first of all, I'm going to put this green screen clip at the top and we'll now bring the one that I want to show on his laptop under here and then the one that I want to show in the front area over here. Okay, so next I'm going to go in the effects tab and we'll bring the ultra key effect here and now I'm going to use the dropper to pick the laptop screen screen and there we have our first clip. Now I'm just going to go in this clip's motion effect now to scale it out and make some position adjustments as well. So the first thing is to scale it out and I think this is fine and now I'm just going to make some changes to these position parameters as well. So let me just do that. And yeah, I think it's okay now. Uh, let me just make sure that it is within the frame. So yeah, I think it's all good. Okay, and yeah, it's all okay now. Okay, so now to get rid of the spots that's going towards the right, I'm gonna use the crop effect. Now in the effects tab, I will search for crop effect. And now there it is. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it on this clip. And now I'm gonna go in this effect and we'll crop the video from right. So I'm just going to increase this. And I think this is okay. And that is pretty much it guys. Now let's play our clip and see how it looks. Okay, I think it looks perfect. So guys, this is how easy and simple it is to work with green screens in Premiere. And as I always say to you that you can be very, very creative with this stuff. So guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, anything you would like to ask, Feel free to drop those in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm not going to see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.